I'm gonna do something I haven't done in quite a while for you guys. I'm actually gonna do an unboxing. As you can see, I got a hoodie on. It's actually got pretty cold here for Florida, but no matter where you are in this country right now, it's fall. It's late fall, and Monster Bass knows that here in Florida, things are gonna be a lot different than they are for you folks up in New York, New Jersey, Wisconsin, and even California. It doesn't matter where you are, the weather's gonna be different, the conditions are gonna be different, and the bass are gonna be different. So one of the reasons why I love Monster Bass is because they come out with regional boxes. Every month, a brand new box full of baits for your region, hand selected by the pros at Monster Bass, that they believe are the best baits for you in your region for that time of year. I really doubt due to the weather I'm gonna get out and slam this thing, but for today, we're gonna to go through the brand new November box for the southern region and see what Monster Bass has for us in store. One of the things I love about any of these boxes is the fact that it gives you an opportunity to get a whole bunch of baits that you probably would never have bought or tried yourself. It gets you to try new things, to, to experiment and learn. And as an angler, you should always be willing to learn. And you never know, one of these new baits, new to you baits, could be your next new favorite that catches your next giant. And to have custom baits to your region, that's even better. So here it is, the brand new November Monster Bass Box for the South region. Let's see what's inside. Snap a picture, share it on social media, you can win prizes. Gotta love that. That's a nice packed box full of baits. All sorts of goodies in there. Uh-oh, I'm losing it. First thing, first off, they give you a nice little sticker. Monster Bass going with the Mountain Dew logo. Definitely gonna put that one right on my laptop or somewhere. Cool sticker, thanks Monster Bass. Detour sunglasses, $15 cash card. Use code, that's my code, I'm not giving it to you. Detour sunglasses, so that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna cover up my code so you can't steal it. Give me $15 off Detour sunglasses. Pretty darn cool, that's in the box already. This box has already saved me 15 bucks for new sunglasses. Pretty cool. So let's just dig right into it. The first thing that I'm seeing here, crankbait. Bomber Model A in a chartreuse sexy shag color here. Model A is a medium diver, I believe. So this is the 6A, and according to this, it's gonna go six to eight feet. That's perfect for me down here in the south. Most of our lakes are fairly shallow, they're weedy, they're heavy vegetation, lots of heavy cover. A crankbait that goes six to eight feet, that's perfect for our waters here. In the late fall, Pretty much no matter where you are, the bass are gonna be keying in on bait fish, and shad in particular. Schools of shad. They're actually keying in on smaller bait fish about that size. So for this time of year, this is a perfect crankbait for us to be dealing with. Ah, yes. And we got a jig. The Hack Attack jig from Strike King here. It's a flipping jig from Strike King. Jigs are fantastic almost all year round, but especially in the fall, in the mid to late fall down here in the south, we have a craw hatch that just happened. When you get fronts like that we got right now, the water temperatures drop really quickly. The bass are gonna be moving a little bit slower. They're gonna be hunkered up into vegetation, tied up against structure, things like that. So having a really good jig that imitates the craw that just hatched and they don't have to chase down as much, it's gonna bounce right in front of their face, that's a perfect bait for this time of year right now. They even got the colors on this one spot on. Perfect for the tannic color water that we typically deal with down here in the south. Awesome bait. You cannot go fall fishing without a lipless crankbait in the south. Any angler worth his salt that knows anything about fishing in the south in the fall has got a lipless crankbait tied on, I guarantee it. And this is a killer one. This is a river to sea ruckus. This thing has got some serious, serious, noise maker in it. There's a ton of small, probably glass beads or something in there. Makes a ton of noise, ton of vibration, moves a lot of water, and gets some serious reaction strikes. And colored up in the silver or the black back, very impressive. Shad imitating, fast moving, loud, commotion making, bass destroying bait right there. The river to see ruckus. I am stoked to have this in this box. Brand name again, Z-Man. We got Z-Man swim baits in this box. Slim Swim Z's. Slim Swims. I don't know how to say it, but I just know they work. These are a smaller bait. Again, in the fall, they are keyed in on smaller bait fish. These are killer. Not only these are awesome on their own, these would be fantastic as trailers too. On a swim jig, on a spinner bait, on any other kind of fish imitating moving bait. Look at the stretch on that, guys. This is just nuts how much one of these things stretches and goes right back to shape every time. Z-Man Slim Swim Z's. 
Very awesome little baits. But we're not done yet. Here's another soft plastic, a pack of soft plastic. This one's coming to you from Bama Baits. They're a stick bait, a Sanko, a full pack of stick bait Sankos from Bama Baits. They're infused with Bama fuel, whatever the heck that is, but I know they have a good smell to them no matter what. Oh yeah, they're stinky. Oh, they're stinky. They're stinky. Great texture to the plastic to them. They got a great weight to them and a very strong smell to them, but they're coming in a black with blue flake. Perfect. They are bait fish imitators. Texas rig one of these, just weightless, throw it up into those lily pads into whatever cover you got left where the bass are going to be hunkered up nice and tight, trying to conserve whatever energy and get whatever heat is left out of that cover. Nice and slow, tantalizing right in their face. Fantastic bait all year round, but excellent right now for the fall. Nothing better than a finesse weightless stick bait to catch those tight lipped big mouth bass. Another awesome bait. These guys know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, but we're not done yet. There's still a couple more here. I've got another crankbait in here. This one's the Lunker Hunt. Fantastic, really, really bright, sharp colors on this one. It's kind of like a sexy, chartreuse sexy shad mixed with like a, a bluegill or a sunfish or something like that. This crankbait dies zero to eight feet. So again, the perfect depth range for my southern lakes right here. Awaken the giants. Again, a smaller profile crankbait. It's like these boys at Monster Bass know what they're talking about here in the fall. The bass are gonna be keyed in on smaller bait fish. So you got something that matches that hatch perfectly, makes a little bit more noise and moves a little faster than most of those other bait fish in the school, you're gonna slay them. When you got the proper size, and crazy action of a great little crankbait. Awesome, awesome bait. I deal with some pretty big bass down here, and I last thing I wanna do is have a bass get off because I didn't have the right hook, or the hook bent out, or whatever it is. I'm not picking on any one of these manufacturers. I do that with almost every bait that I get straight out of the box. I put new trebles on it. And you know what? I think Monster Bass knows what they're talking about too, because right here, they gave us a whole pack, four of them actually, of Mustad number six treble hooks. Mustad Ultra Point treble hooks, these are fantastic. They got a little bit wider of a gap than your standard treble hooks on them. Super, super sharp and extra, extra strong. One of the best things about getting any of these subscription boxes is it often gives you baits to try that you've never tried before, you never heard of before, and you probably wouldn't have bought yourself. The Monster Bass, you've done it again. The last thing in this box this month, they're called the Why Not. These are the Stanley Floating Twin Tail Why Not. A whole big pack of these soft plastic, and these are crazy. They are a big, bulky bait. Very heavy ribbing on it. Solid core. It looks like they got like a keel, like a swim bait would. And then it's got these two tails. Long rib tails, but the end of these tails is actually hollow. It's hollow, like a tube jig. So these two tails are gonna float up, are gonna float up in the air as this thing goes fish this thing weedless weightlessly or i'm not even positive how to fish it but i can tell you right now just by looking at it that looks like it's gonna get eaten that thing's gonna have some crazy action in the water and it looks like something a bass is just gonna crunch on and munch on that is a very unique bait i've never seen one before this could end up being my new favorite bait out of all of them thanks to monster bass what a cool bait to me that's the best thing about these subscription boxes they get you to try new things get you to think a little bit outside of the box and, and all ultimately become a better and more well-rounded angler altogether. Fantastic, all thanks to the November South Monster Bass Box. There it is, I can't wait to get out there, can't wait for this weather to get a little better so I can get out there and start using some of these myself. The November Monster Bass Box, awesome. If you're still on the fence on whether to get one of these boxes or whether to try Monster Bass, I'll give you a little bit of help. Down in the description below, I'm gonna put a little code, a discount code. It's gonna help you get a huge discount on your very first Monster Bass box just for checking this out. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little something and we'll see you on the water real soon.